Are you tired of having no one talking in your chat or people coming in and then immediately leaving five minutes later? Ooh. Well, lucky for you, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use the Streamlabs CloudBot chatbot in your chat in order to keep viewers entertained, get more followers, and overall just have a better stream and make it more entertaining for your viewers. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video so other streamers can find this video. And obviously, if you want to have your chat entertained, you need to have a good looking stream design. And in order to get my stream looking nice and clean, I always like to go to own.tv in order to grab some packages, some alerts, some emotes. And my favorite thing about own.tv is that all of their stream packages are modular. So that way, if your buddy wants to use one webcam overlay, you can use a different one so you guys can have the same exact theme, but not exactly the same stream design. And it's always super nice to be able to pick out individual pieces of these packages in order to make sure that you can choose it and customize it to the way you want it to. Also, keep an eye out for own's new animated sub emotes. So that way, you can have different animated cool little emoticons for your Twitter. Twitch streams. So I really just wanted to thank own.tv for sponsoring today's video. So if you guys need some stuff to upgrade your stream, make sure to check the link down in the description below. It helps out the channel and I really appreciate it. But now let me show you how we're going to use the Streamlabs cloud bot in order to upgrade our stream as well. So first things first, let's go over to streamlabs.com. By the way, all the links that you're going to need are going to be in the description down below, as well as different streaming gear in case you need a new webcam, a new laptop or anything of that sort. So once you're at streamlabs.com, you can go ahead and log in with your Twitch account and then you can go to the dashboard. If you guys have never used Streamlabs, before I have a video in the top right corner just showing you exactly how to download install it and everything that you need to get started but log in to streamlabs.com with your twitch account and then we're gonna go ahead and click dashboard and that's gonna bring us to the main portion of streamlabs today we're gonna be talking about the cloud bot which is located on the left hand side of the screen if you guys want me to make any kind of videos on any of the other modules or different things within streamlabs OBS just let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a video on it for you so let's go ahead and click on cloud bot tab right here and the first thing you want to do is one make sure that the cloud bot is enabled you can tell it's enabled by this little cyan blue kind of color and before we do anything else make sure to go and copy this slash mod streamlabs and then we're gonna go to our twitch channel real quick and once you're on your twitch channel go to your chat room and then we're just gonna paste the message slash mod streamlabs hit enter and then now you can see it says streamlabs is already a moderator of this channel but for you it'll say you have now modded streamlabs it's just because i've done it before so let's go back to streamlabs so the main tabs that i'm going to be focusing on in this video are going to be the mod tools the modules the commands the timers and the loyalty because i think those are the most powerful and the ones that are going to help you out the most so just to start off we'll quickly glance over the mod tools caps protection basically just prevents people from spamming all caps messages in your chat so if that's something you're concerned about you can just go ahead and turn it on as such you can also go into all of these different modules and click preferences so you can go ahead and just make sure that if you wanted to permit someone so if you wanted like subs or regulars or regulars and subs to be able to not be affected by the cap so it would allow subs to be able to use their caps then that's what the auto permit does but if we wanted everyone to be punished for using all caps you can choose your punishment so you can choose it to just purge the message, AKA just delete the message, or you can have it time them out, and then you can set the duration on how long they should be timed out for, or you can just straight up permanently ban them from your stream, which personally I think is a little bit harsh, but who knows, it depends on what you're into, I suppose. So usually just in general, if you're gonna go down this route, I would just recommend purge, and this will basically just send a punishment message if you have it enabled, and then it'll just say, hey, this person, please refrain from spamming caps. So it'll basically just give them warning. Usually they'll be like, okay, sorry, won't do it again. And that'll be it. Then if you look below it, you can see the advanced portion where you can choose the minimum amount of caps letters or the maximum amount. But like I said, usually this isn't a problem for me, but this is going to be dependent on what kind of stream you have and what kind of audience you have as well. So personally, I don't really have any of these enabled just because I have really good moderators for my stream, but obviously not a lot of you starting out are going to have moderators. So these are where they're going to come into play. Other than the caps protection, I would probably use link protection just meaning that it prevents anyone in stream from posting links to websites that you probably don't want them to go to and so if you just wanted to do that make sure to do auto permit and you can make it so subs don't have to get purged for their links or if you wanted to just have everyone you'd leave it on none and then you can change purge timeout ban the same exact thing that we did for the other module but the word protection module is actually going to be probably the most useful and that's going to prevent certain words from being posted in your chat like racial slurs or anything that can be offensive and violate the terms of service for twitch so let's enable word protection and then click on preferences to change everything and so obviously we have the auto permit and everything else so there's nice default blacklist that'll just kind of remove common offensive words so always enable that and then once you've enabled the default blacklist you can actually go into this blacklist tab 
and write out words that you do not want on your stream. I'm obviously not going to click the blacklist because it's filled with a bunch of racial slurs and offensive words that I don't want in my stream, and showing them to you would probably go against why we have them there in the first place. So go into your blacklist, add all of the words that you would not like in your stream, and then we can just go save settings and then go back. So the mod tools are usually pretty self-explanatory, so let's move on to the modules tab. The modules tab, this is where things get really, really fun. So the first one that I actually have enabled are chat alerts. And this is just going to be Streamlabs bot letting you know and tagging you in the chat when someone follows, someone donates, or anything like that. So I have it set so anytime we get a donation, it'll basically say, this person just helped the hamster go to college with X amount of currency. So if you wanted to change this, you would just go over to the right side and click this little pencil icon. And then you can go ahead and enable and disable them as well. So I usually just have it on donation, bit, host, subscription, raid, and mystery gift just because I feel like those are ones that usually happen less often, so they're more exciting when we get to see the message in chat. So the mini games are actually a huge reason on why I use the Streamlabs Cloud Bot, and it's because we got the heist mini game, gamble, eight ball, slots, and duel. And so you're probably wondering yourself, okay, well, if we're doing gambling, like don't we need points or currency? That's where the loyalty tab comes into play right here. So you can go to your settings, which is right on this little tab, and then you can make sure to enable the loyalty system. You can give it a name. I just call it points just to keep it simple. And so this is where people can get currency. It's like a virtual fake currency that you've created through the bot. So you can go ahead and change all of these different settings on how many points people should get and how often they should get them. You can also change the event payout. So I have it so anytime someone follows the stream, they automatically get started out with 10,000 points. But you can also make it so if someone subs, then they can get like 50,000 points or however many points that you would want to give and so on and so forth. You can also do donations. So if someone gives you a donation through Streamlabs and they get points as well, technically that would be pay to win, which is why I don't have anything here. I just like to keep it free for all of my Twitch viewers just to make it fair and simple. By the way, if you want to hang out with us live on Twitch, link is in the description down below. We'd love to have you. So we have our point system set up and basically just enabled. So we're just going to click save. And then now we're going to go back and you can either click on users and manually add points. So like what I like to do is like I do C pause trivia. So basically anybody that watches the stream, I ask stream related questions that happened on our stream. And if you get it right, then I can go in and manually add points to that user. So I just click on search user, type in their name and then the little pencil icon and add points manually. So that way it's more of like a trivia night and it's actually a lot of fun. So if we go back to the modules section, I'm gonna go and explain the heist, the gamble, the eight ball, and so on and so forth. So let's start with the heist. Let's click preferences. And this one is honestly a really good way to keep chat entertained. Like if you're having a dull moment, chat's always having fun with this mini game and all the other mini games. So it takes less stress and less pressure off of your shoulders in order to keep them entertained, which is just nice overall. The idea of the heist heist is if someone types exclamation point heist space and then their points on how many they want to gamble it'll basically ask the rest of chat on how many people want to do this as well and it's basically like a 50 50 chance of winning so if you win you double your points and if you lose then you lose the points that you gambled as you can see here chance to win is 50 percent just to keep it safe and not pay to win the winner payout is 100 percent on all of these as well as making entries and how much you can gamble and basically how much the delay is. So from here, I'm gonna click save, and then I'm gonna go to messages. And so you can have different custom messages, but if this is overwhelming to you, just ignore this, and then we'll just go back to general. So that's pretty much how heist works in a nutshell. So let's actually move on to gamble. It's kind of the same idea. You type exclamation point gamble space and then a number. So you can change the different reward multipliers. So basically it picks a number between one and 100, and if it lands between one through 50, then you lose. So it's a 50-50 chance at winning. And then 51 through 100 will depend on the multiplier. So if someone gets, let's say 80, then they get two times payout. If someone gets 99 or 100, they get three times their payout, which I think is pretty cool. And it's just a lot of fun for chat to be able to gamble their points because the points don't really mean anything. It's just kind of for fun and for bragging rights. Eight ball game is basically you can type in X base point eight ball and then a question. And then if you actually go into preference, it'll give you a random message that you can put in there. And you can add more by adding the add message here. And then you just add a message or answer really to what the eight ball responses can be. And then the slots minigame is basically the same thing as gamble. You just do X page point slots and then a point. 
and then you can actually duel other people so you can actually challenge one person in chat to another and then they can fight it out for however many points they agree on. And then emote pyramids is actually kind of fun, but this also encourages a lot of spam. If you guys can have a viewer that does like one kappa, two kappa, three kappa, two kappa, one kappa, and make a pyramid out of emotes, then they'll get congratulated, which I think is kind of fun because depending on how active your chat is, like they always get broken up and people get kind of not really upset, but it just kind of adds like an extra layer of entertainment to chat. But that's obviously up to personal taste. Some people would consider it spam, but I actually really enjoy it. So that's why I have it enabled. So you might be wondering to yourself, how do I check my points and how do I do all this other stuff? That's where the command tab comes in. So if we go to the commands tab, you can see that I have a custom command, which you can obviously just make by doing add command. And then you can do a command like, let's say, x base point follow. Then it'll be like, please follow me. So then you can go ahead and hit confirm. And now anytime that I type X page point follow in my chat, the bot will respond with, please follow me. I have a command called X page point SO, which basically just means shout out. And I have it set so the mods and myself are the only people to use it. So anytime someone raids or hosts my channel, we do X page point SO followed by that streamer's username. And it'll basically just tell everyone in chat to go check them out, give them a follow. It's a big thank you for basically considering sharing their community with mine. So if we go under the default tab, now you can see all of the ones that are basically just come with with the bot but the main ones that i'm worried about are loyalty so the loyalty points that's where the gamble comes in the heist and all that stuff you can change the command so i believe this is x base point points on default but i changed it to x base point checkpoints and so anybody in chat that wants to check their points and how many points they have they just type in chat x base point checkpoints but you can go ahead and change this and make sure that you can make it easy for chat for your chat depending on if there's like an inside joke or anything just make sure it's enabled you can edit it with the little pencil icon and then you can also do x base point top which is the main reason why we have it it's the top 10 people in the stream with the highest amount of points and so that's the whole motivation and bragging right on why you want to get these points right so chat uses that as basically like a bragging right leaderboard so you want to make sure to have that enabled as well and then if you scroll down to miscellaneous you can also do set game and set title so if you were changing your game live on stream you can have it set so moderators can change it for you so that way in case you forget which i happen to do all the time my moderators will just do set game to the new game that we're playing so that way our category is always updated to date on twitch so this last module is probably the most important in terms of call to action so if you want follows if you want merch drops if you want anything like that that you want chat to be noticed of this is the module you're going to, want to pay attention to but before i go into that i just want to thank all my patrons for helping me make all of these videos and help support me so if you guys want to become a patron check the link in the description down below but the last module i'm going to talk about is timers so timers are basically different things that are going to pop up in chat on a certain timer so if i wanted to have a message that says if you're having fun then please consider following the channel then i made this timer called follow so let me show you how to make a quick little follow timer let's do add timer we'll call it follow we'll make a quick little message and then after you have your little message you can set how often that this should be posted in chat from the streamlabs bot honestly if you're doing follow alerts i would probably stick to around 10 or 15 minutes because anything less is going to be way too much and they're just going to spam your chat but obviously it's up to taste and how active your chat is and how often you want to remind them and so the line minimum is basically how many lines of text need to occur before this can be posted again so if you have an absolutely dead chat and no one talks for 15 minutes this is going to prevent the bot from basically just posting it over and over and over and over again so honestly i would probably do like 10 to 20 lines just to make sure that you don't see the same message in the same chat room like you're gonna have to scroll up a bit so that way it's not flooding your stream and then once you're done with that just click save and you'll have it on your little list for timers so you can repeat this process for donations if you have merch drops anything like that basically any kind of call to action that you want to bring awareness to the chat the timers are going to be your best friend but this channel is all about helping streamers so if that helps you out make sure to drop a like on the video and i'll see you in the next next one.